Hello there, I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Nice to see you again. Today I bring you one bulldozer. It is from Leisu uh, DT60. It is all metal hydraulic control. And we will put batteries, start test the functions, and later we will also see the details of all the parts. Okay, let's open the back of the cover. From here is a battery chamber. We can put the battery. Connect. Power on. Let's put the wires inside and uh, put back the cover. Lock. Okay. <laughs> this label is there. Okay. So we will start first running a little. Yes, that is the pump. Let's go back. For the go back function, always first time is the warning, next time, second time we will start. Okay, we first uh, should test a little bit the light. This, this bed sheet, this one table sheet is a little slippery. We will switch on the light. And another one, we have the turning lights on the top. Can change many version. Keep fast flashing. Another one. Another one. One more. Okay, off. Now we will keep it like this. And we will start the sound system. This is the alarm, the horn. Engine start. Engine start. Like a horn. Okay, we need to lift up a little this ripper, it's already on the table. Yeah. Let's go forward. Forward is a little bit fast, not too bad. Let's go back. This is backward speed. Let's see. Go forward how much is the speed? Speed up. Okay. And turning, go back. Turn left. Turn right. Turning. Turn on the other side. Always there is like a one turning also got this. First time this one turning because on another side we making mix control. One side go forward, one side go aft. Go after that one will be second time will be start for turning. Like, like this. It's not turning. Second time the go back will start turning and make spinning. Another way, second time, the go back one, right side track start in max speed. Okay. Go back and uh, we will see the functions of the hydraulic system. First, we got this uh, big arm, lift up, close down, close up, and for this blade, we can turn left side. And turn right side, and also for this angle, we can lean to left side and stop side. Let's lean to left side, lean to right side. Okay. So we turning to the left, turning left side, turning lean to this side, turning to right side. Let's. So when you go push forward, you can control the angle. Let's make it flat. Okay, turn it around, you will see the ripper. The ripper now is at the most top position. Let's go down. Got enough power to lift up the up 
rear part of this door dozer. Let's go down. Turn around. And we turn around. Uh, as I see the forward, this board dozer, this blade, got a more power lift up and going down. This one less power but enough to lift up the rear part body. Let's first lift up the rear side body and we will lift up from forward. We can lift up all this heavy board dozer. Okay, let's get it down. Okay, I will switch off the sound and we will see the details of this one. Okay. First, from the rear side, let's see the this reaper got one cylinder control. The hose coming from the rear part from the body chassis. Okay, we light it up. So as you can see, we've got two holes coming from down there. So the hydraulic pump and the motor is inside this uh, car body in the, on, on top of the chassis. This reaper or this hook, this body is one part. So here is connected by pin, so we can turn it. Okay, let's open the back cover. Let's see what is inside there. This battery chamber under the cabin we got all the wires connections, this connection box, we got one volume control switch here, you can switch, turn up a little volume or you can switch it off or volume down. And there is the light sound system board there. Okay, that's all. So that black one is the seat. Okay, we put this back. the cover okay from the side we see all this the bridge the drive wheels the idler wheels road wheels down there this is all stainless steel so the motor is inside the drive wheel and uh, we got this return roller it's all stainless steel, not too tight, just enough. So the track is not too tight, not too loose. And we go forward, we got this cabin. The door can be opened from the side. We also got a wiper. This cabin, this part is also metal. Yeah, it's also metal, only the wind glass uh, plastic. Even the wiper is all metal. So for this part of this bulldozer, only the window and the holes are plastic. Other parts, it's all metal. Okay, from this side, you can also open the cabin. You can see inside the seat, the controlling. Okay, Let's see a little bit more. We will close the door from here. And uh, this one, the door, side door can be opened. We have to lower down this bulldozer. From here, you see got the reverse valve and all the wires. And these wires are for the motor. The hydraulic pump is down there, cannot see. It's all blocked by this body, so, so sorry, cannot see it. And from the right side, also got one side door. Here we got the oil tank, receiver, all these oil holes from the reverse valve. From top of this, this cover, we got this uh, suction filter, exhaust pipe, and here we got one lock. Unlock it, we can open the cover and see inside. So the receiver, all the wires we put here, 
under there, you see the reverse valve and the uh, oil tank. We got one pressure release valve here. Okay, this is this one. We will put it back. Wires push inside. Okay, lock it. Okay, from the forward, we see the big arm got one cylinder, another cylinder, so two cylinder for controlling the big arm down and up. And for the this the blade, we have to turn left side and stop side controlled by this two cylinder. And for the lean of this blade, lean to right, right side and the left side controlled by this cylinder to push going down on this side. Okay. So right side we already all see and the for the track, the reach, all same from the left side. This for the chassis is not got much to see, only all metal plate, but I can turn over to show you. For so for the chassis, all metal very strong. If, if you open this one, oh, okay. This one before very heavy. If you open the cover from bottom, you will see the motor wires. Uh, and uh, for the motor wires, we got two motor for driving, and the others, the wires are all going from the bottom. You can check from there. Okay, this is the Lesu DT60 bulldozer. That's all of it. So if you got any question, welcome to ask me anytime. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye bye.